All right, so we got some breaking news today, at least from when I'm seeing it. I literally just woke up like 30 minutes ago, maybe. I gotta go to work in an hour. So we're gonna try to record this real quick and it'll probably get posted uh, not until later because I can't edit videos at work. According to Bloomberg, Sony has plans to make an Xbox Game Pass competitor. These rumors have been going around for a long time, but now it seems like it's more imminent. So apparently this service is going to combine PlayStation Plus and PlayStation Now, which has been another rumor that people have been talking about, and also just something that people have been wanting Sony to do for a while now. Apparently once this happens though, they might retain the PlayStation Plus name, but phase out the PlayStation Now name. So one thing that I forgot to mention that this is going to be apparently a like three-tiered subscription service. So it's like one will be existing PlayStation Plus benefits, second a large catalog of PS4 and PS5 games, third, extended demos, uh, game streaming, and a library of classic PS1, PS2, PS3, and PSP games. So I guess I'll just wait and see what it is. Because right now with like PlayStation Now, for example, you can play PS4 games and PS3 games. But right now, only PS3 games can be streamed because of how the PlayStation 3 was built or whatever. It makes it really hard to like emulate or whatever. I don't know. But uh, you could download PS4 games, but currently there is no offering for PS5 games on PlayStation now. So it seems like they might change this with this new service, this new super service or whatever. And you can be able to play select PS5 games, a bunch of PS4 games, 3, 2, and 1. So hopefully what they do with this, hopefully they kind of look at like the backwards compatibility with Xbox, see how successful that was. And hopefully they start doing that with like some PS3. 3, 2, 1 PSP Vita games. Even if like only some games come out, but they add like new trophy support and stuff like that, that'd be cool. Ideally, I would like it so even if it doesn't have trophy support, you can still just like play a game or whatever. Even you can pop the disc into your console. I guess we we'll just have to wait and see. This is apparently going to come out in the spring, so a few months from now. But uh, maybe they'll announce it soon. Maybe uh, the Game Awards coming up, maybe they're going to announce this new service, or maybe it's going to get announced in a fo more formal sony prepared event or something like that i don't know but this is exciting uh it's cool to see sony make some bigger moves because right now like game pass has been a huge thing for xbox and if playstation can offer something similar to that it can definitely help keep people playing on playstation and that's good for sony i probably come off more of a sony fanboy i'm not really a fanboy i just like playing on playstation i'm mostly because like trophies and i understand the ecosystem and like a lot of my stuff is tied to my playstation account and i've never really had an xbox i do have an xbox 360 but i got that in like 2019. i also did recently get a new gaming pc and i do have game pass for pc on it mostly because i want to play minecraft on it but uh, yeah, it's it's cool to have access to a bunch of games, especially older games or whatever, which is nice. I think this is cool. This can be great for the PlayStation platform in the long run. I personally am a little skeptical of what this precedent says for the future of gaming, but that's not really what this video is about. So, yep. So I'm finally recording a news video timely, but I'm not going to be able to post it because I got to go to work in like 45 minutes.